Thank you so much, Amin. As a close friend and colleague, your kind words of encouragement mean a great deal to me. To be recognized as the Energy Executive of the Year means joining a very special group. I am humbled and honored. This is an award that I could not have achieved on my own. And there are many people I would like to acknowledge. Most importantly, the leadership of the United Arab Emirates. The fact is, I would not be receiving this award today without the vision, support, and continuous guidance of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces. He enabled everything I have achieved so far, both at Adnok and beyond Adnok. He has challenged me to push the boundaries of the possible. He has inspired me with his wisdom and long-term perspective. And when times were tough, his support has been unwavering. I also owe a great deal to my family and friends who have been with me and there for me through everything. You, my colleagues across the energy industry, have always been essential. You have given me insight, support, and advice at key moments, and I thank you for that. And importantly, I would like to recognize the tireless efforts of my colleagues at all levels, as well as our partners across our businesses. This is an award built on the work of many. It is proof that we succeed together in partnership. And of course, my thanks to Energy Intelligence, not just for organizing this award, but for all that they do to deepen our understanding of the energy industry. Ladies and gentlemen, we work in a fascinating industry at a fascinating time. Climate action is fundamentally reshaping the geopolitics, the economics, and the policies of the energy system. New energies are rebalancing the energy mix, and emerging technologies are disrupting established business models. Given these disruptions, we must be agile in future-proofing our businesses. We must continue to make core investments to keep up with growing demand. And we must do all this as the world continues to recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. In short, the role of the energy executive today is more complex than it has ever been. And I know that not one of us would swap it for anything. From an early age, I always wanted to be an engineer. And it was my dream to work at Adnok. And growing up in the UAE of Sheikh Zayed, I was given that opportunity to fulfill that dream. Our founding father built a nation that shared its wealth with all its people and encouraged its young people to be all they could be. My father was part of that generation. He pushed me to work hard and to never give anything less than everything I had to give. Importantly, he taught me to always show my love of our country through our actions and by giving back. These values have guided me every day, every step of the way. And if there is one thing I want to give back to my country today, it is to share with my children and the next generation of Emiratis the most important lessons I have learned that good work is hard, and that hard work is good. And that you can forget you are tired if you never forget that you are making an impact. It was my passion to work hard, deliver tangible results, and make real impact that motivated me to join ADNOC as a young man. And it is still what drives me today. I began my career at Adnok from the bottom, starting as a process engineer in oil fields and gas processing plants, working multiple shifts, reading pumps, compressors, pressure flow, 
اير فلو واتر فلو فيلينج اوت لوج بوكس مانجينج كنترول بانلز يو نيم ات افتر ليرنينج ذا روبس ثرو هاندز اون اكسبيرينس اي واز جراديولي جيفن مور ريسبونسبيلتي اي واز ادفانسينج ان ماي كارير وين ذا كول كيم فروم ذا ليدرشيب تو اكسبلور هاو ذا يو اي could diversify its energy mix and help establish a new economic model for our country. Back in 2006, some thought launching Abu Dhabi's future energy company, Mazdar, was a strange move for a major oil-producing nation. Yet, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed knew where the world was heading and wanted to get ahead of the curve. In fact, Our leadership viewed investment in clean and renewable energy as a natural and logical extension of Abu Dhabi and the UAE's role as a global energy leader and an opportunity to develop new partnerships, new knowledge, new skills, and new jobs. We began by learning as much as possible about the renewable energy sector. We discovered that the sector needed a new ecosystem an ecosystem that brought everything under one umbrella, from R&D, technology development, to project development, project finance, applying capital, and applying scale. This is essentially what we did at Mustar. We created a home for science and innovation, providing the space and the capital to turn good ideas into world-class projects. We made strategic investments locally and globally, and we became the host of the International Renewable Energy Agency, IRENA, serving to further promote the adoption of clean energy around the world. 15 years later, the UAE has three of the largest and lowest cost solar plants anywhere in the world, while our wind and solar portfolio has grown to 13 gigawatts in over 30 countries in five continents. Of course, as you know, about five years ago, I was asked to return to Adnok. This time though, equipped with a greater understanding of how the various pieces of the energy mix fit together. You will remember how challenging the market dynamics were in 2016. Our leadership saw this as an opportunity that should not be wasted. An opportunity to transform our national oil company. We focused on performance, profitability, and efficiency, embedding technology across the organization and basing everything on HSE. At the core of our strategy were people. For any company, people will always be the magic ingredient. Creating a safe environment and nurturing a culture where people can be at their best is perhaps the hardest part of management. This was reinforced during the COVID-19 pandemic, where our highest priority has been the health, the well-being, and the safety of everyone working at ADNOC together with all their families. And I'm very pleased that our safety performance throughout this period has continued to improve. And I am determined to build on this record because everything we have achieved and will continue to achieve depends on it. Now, as we look ahead, our path to the future will be guided by the energy transition. We should embrace this transition as a unique opportunity for growth. Opportunity is what is driving Adnox's investment into new zero carbon energies like hydrogen. Opportunity is shaping the business case for our carbon capture technologies. And opportunity is creating a premium for the most carbon efficient barrels in the world. At the same time, let us remember that the energy transition is exactly that, a transition that will require a mix of energies that we provide. Together, our companies represent the few who have lifted the many to attain 
the most prosperity in history. Now our mission is to continue to supply the energy for that prosperity using the lowest carbon sources available. As the UAE marks 50 years of progress, our leadership has set out a mandate for economic growth for the next 50 years. These principles represent a clear, practical blueprint for the future. A key pillar is building partnerships across the world. So I would like to end with this thought. While this award represents a great compliment to the leadership of the UAE, to my colleagues and to me, it is truly the result of effective partnership across the industry and across the world. Let us continue to collaborate. Let us turn opportunities into reality. And let's not put limits on what we can imagine for our future. Energy is our passion. It is the key to progress around the world. And by supplying the world with sustainable energy, we will sustain our place in the world of energy. We are fortunate to be working in this industry at this time. And our best days, I truly believe, are yet to come. I thank you again. I am humbled by your recognition. And I look forward to seeing you all soon in the United Arab Emirates.